Hi, it's Jennifer Lane with Osborne Books and More. I'm just going to show you a really quick video showing preschool books that aren't just their phonics readers, um, which are amazing and they really do help children how to, how to read. Um, we have the great reading sets that I wish I had when my boys were learning how to read, um, but there's a lot more books for that preschool age that are also, you know, really, really amazing and really, really cute. So first I want to show you these white clean books. There's a ton to choose from. You can also get them smaller in activity sets. Um, they come with a pen. You can use any white clean eraser though, you know, erasable marker. And these are just really fun and they're great to keep and have when you go to a restaurant. Um, another non-fiction option, we have these beginner sets. There's a ton of them. They're only $4.99 and it really breaks down non-fiction material um, in a way that little kids can understand. I love this book. Storybooks, they're our favorite. We read every night. My boys can read on their own, but we still want to have that story time with our children. Um, they really, to get that love of lifetime learning. So, let's start with I'm a Hungry Dinosaur. Now, one of our best sellers is, here, I want to hold this one for me so you can see it in the Is I'm a Dirty Dinosaur. This author actually paints that with real mud. Uh, it sells out all the time, and she just came out with this new one. So this is brand new, just came out in January. Um, it's still that rhythmic story that kids love, love to listen, and it's, you know, slide, slide, sit, 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 and watch it bake. I'm a hungry dinosaur. Mmm, the lovely smell. Um, it's just a really cute story. Um, it's got those tough pages that the kids can't rip, which is nice, too. Okay. Now, a sweet book. We're a teddy bear loving household. So Cuddle Bear, when I saw that Usborn has a book about a teddy bear that comes with a teddy bear, plus proceeds of the book go to, you know, to children in hospitals, uh, we had to have this. So the panda needs a cuddle now. She's tripped and had a fright, so Cuddle Bear comes scooting up. Um, let me see that beach. A hug will put things right. The illustrations are adorable. The bear is adorable. It's nice and soft. Um, and it's just a great story. And this makes a great, great gift for people. And finally. How about Animaly first? Is that one on the floor? Yep. This is also my go-to now gift for when people have babies. Animaly. Um, I love you tenderly, tenderly like, like a fawn. Yeah. I love you speedily like a hare. I love you freezily like a bear. Yeah. And it just goes through all the different animals and how their mamas love them. And uh, it's great, great, great gift. Now, Tale of Two Beasts, this is going to be my gifts to the teacher, my boys' teachers this year. Because I think not only is this a good story, but it teaches a good lesson. So, Tale of Two Beasts, it's about a little girl who finds a strange beast in the woods. And the whole first half of the story is her side of the story. And then when you flip it to the back, it goes into the beast side of the story. So, you know, that whole... I'm a mom of twins. Having two sides to the story is an important concept that everyone needs to know. Like I said, what the girl thinks and the girl, the squirrel thinks and what the girl thinks. Yeah. So, and there's so many more. Kane Miller has great, great storybooks. So if you search Kane Miller or you go to the Kane Miller tab, you're gonna find a ton more. But just don't think that just the phonics books for these little ones. Make sure you take a look at the ones um, that you can sit and read to them too. All right. Thank you.